The best part about productive gardens is that size is no barrier. Even in a modest yard like this one, there's still room to plant a couple of favourites. This orange tree looks really healthy and it was laden, but it's been picked except for this one that was missed. It's a Washington Naval and you can tell it Washington Naval by the little belly button down the bottom. Now's the time to have a look at the tree and check out for any scale or insects. And if you have citrus gall wasp problems, cut it out and remove it. All citrus love a regular feed, so anything we can do to keep the right balance of nutrients pumping out is great for the tree. One fertiliser that certainly stands out is Trofort AM. Available in a range of formulations, check out their website for your nearest stockist. Trofort AM fruit and citrus supplies nutrients in a completely different way to conventional fertilisers. Proudly Australian made and as a result of 15 years research, each of these slow release prills contain up to 24 strains of soil microbes and up to 60 different types of minerals that combine to improve the soil's health and vitality. You just need to add water to get those microbes working. And because they last for six months, you only need to fertilise your trees twice a year. Passion fruit really need a light trim in early spring to encourage them to flower. If you find your vine is a little light on fruit, this may well help. Take off only a little, don't go too hard. Now's also the time to check the graph for suckers. Now's the time to check the graft. Anything above the graft is the real McCoy, that's your passion fruit vine, and anything below the graft is the rootstock. It's all okay here, but if you do find the rootstock coming through, cut it out straight away. Otherwise, it will take over and say goodbye to your passion fruit. And just like the orange tree, your passion fruit needs a well-balanced fertiliser that will deliver nitrogen for growth and potassium for the fruit and flowers, plus a range of trace elements. Once you're finished, put the lid on tightly. This fertiliser will last up to 11 months if stored in a cool, dry spot. Right, we're finished here. Time to check out the front. It may surprise some people to know that Australian native plants in home gardens actually need some attention. And one thing to remember is to give them a trim after flowering. That'll keep them compact and a better shape, just the way we like them. Of course, Australian native plants also need regular feeding. Grab some all-purpose Trofort AM fertiliser and let those microbes work their magic. Well-fed and well-cared-for plants, well, that's a recipe for success.